Grandpa, children. What brings you here? Come inside and stay with me. I will not harm you. <laughs> Once upon a time in the land of handsome princes, noble kings, and beautiful princesses, there also live a wicked witch. A wily wolf and a ginormous giant. Deep in the forest was the vilest of all. A wicked witch! <laughs> Who casts another evil spell. Once upon a time, there was a poor orphan called Billy. Because he had no parents, he was forced to live with this aunt. His only possession was a little pocket computer, which always came to his rescue when his horrid aunt picked on him. What is 37% of 69527 clever cloths? 25725 five, to the nearest decimal point. And what is it that keeps this home warm in the evenings? Um, a fire, you idiot! And you've let it go out as usual just for that. I shall send you on a most important errand. My friend the witch has a secret book of spells for those seeking eternal youth. You shall go and steal it from her and return with it to me. But it's very dark and scary going there. But it was no good arguing. The aunt told Billy to say he needed some candles for the lamps. The journey to the witch's cottage was exactly 3.578 kilometers and the witch Exactly 1.47 meters tall as she towered over him in the doorway. Well? She inquired frustrately. My aunt has sent me to collect some candles. Candles? Said the witch. Have you none of your own? I'm not one, he lied. Very well then, but you get no candles until you've done some work for me. And the witch ordered the boy to prepare all the food for her Halloween party by the next sunrise. Come, Master Evie, spoke his computer. Yes, do as I say. And while the clever gadget spelled out exactly what to do, in what order, and when. Billy searched for the Book of Spells. He glanced up at the witch's selection of cookery books, and there, between 100 favorite dishes with rats and my favorite poisonous soups, was the Book of Spells. Billy hid it under his jumper, but dare not leave until the witch gave him the candles. The witch was amazed that he had the task ready on time. I'll set the goat one more task. This really will finish him off. <laughs> she led the kid out to the yard, where an enormous heap of sand confronted them. Count the grains of sand by sunset, and you can have your miserable candles. But <laughs> if you don't finish, 
You're in the pot! She went into her kitchen and turned up the oven to full heat. We'll be having awful on toast tonight, me thinks. <laughs> Observing the massive pile, Billy tapped a few numbers into his computer. The little machine groaned. <laughs> then he added more dimensions and weights as the machine fizzled and vibrated. Meanwhile, the witch was looking out for a good party recipe for frogs' brains and donkeys' doodledums. When she suddenly noticed the gap on her bookshelf, that wicked goat has stolen my book of spells. No doubt his filthy aunt wants some potion or other to make her young again. <laughs> Billy was about to tap the final calculation to his overloaded computer when the witch rushed into the yard. Abort! Abort! went the computer as it fizzed and whirled. Give me my book of spells! But Billy was off in a flash, clutching the precious book and his laboring computer. He maintained a steady 3.273 kilometers per hour as the witch, Halloween lantern in hand, pursued him. Yeah! Billy stumbled over rocks and brambles, but being afraid of wolves, he increased his speed to 3.48 kilometers per hour until he reached the front door and threw himself at his auntie's feet and missed. Here is your book of spells, but be quick about it, because the owner is 700 meters behind and closing rapidly at an approximate speed of 3.72 kilometers per hour. The aunt dashed to the door to see the distant glow of a ghostly lamp. Mercy, mercy, begged the aunt. So oh, you want to be young, do you? Very well, then. And in a flash, she turned auntie into a hen's egg. A very young chicken, indeed. <laughs> Billy had been watching all this. 294 million, 2,801, he declared. One what? Grains of sand. Look, it's on my computer. Give me that! She pushed a big red button in the middle of the overloaded computer, which went up like a box of fireworks, blowing the witch clean to the door. Shortly afterwards, Billy made a new computer out of bits of chicken wire and stale eggs and lived happily ever after. Until the next day. There's more wolves and more witches and more giants here next.